So today, we're going to be learning how to use Melodyne to extract MIDI from audio files. So, Melodyne has a few applications, the two most important of which we're going to review in parts 1 and 2 of this series. These are extracting MIDI and using Melodyne to alter and correct pitch. So before we start, it's important to know that Melodyne has two versions, a standalone application and a plugin version. The plugin version is necessary if you want to alter vocal or instrument pitches in real time in your project, which is the most likely scenario as you want to be able to hear the vocals over the instrumental during the correction process. As that process pertains to part two, we'll be using the standalone version for this video. So, let's get started. Extracting MIDI files is quite simple, but remember, if your audio file has many complicated layers like vocal guitar, piano, playing together, it can be quite difficult to isolate one of the elements. For this example, I'm going to use a simple piano piece that I found. Once you've loaded your audio into Melodyne, a very important step is to change the algorithm from melodic to polyphonic. Melodic is used for monophonic audio such as vocals or single note instruments. Percussive is designed to focus on the conversion of timing rather than pitch, usually for drums or tuned percussion as you can imagine. Polyphonic is what we're going to focus on here. What this does is split the audio into respective notes, so it can deconstruct chords into individual notes, making it perfect to convert instrument audio to MIDI. When you change the algorithm, you'll notice that the chords have been deconstructed. What you must do before we export to MIDI is take a note of the BPM that it is set out for us. This is auto-detected when the audio is analysed. Please note it isn't always exact, but that won't matter much once the MIDI has been extracted, as you can just set it to relatively the same tempo once you re-import it into your DAW. So, to export the MIDI, click on File, then Save As, and then make sure you change your file format to MIDI. Select where you want to save it, and click Save. Now when you're ready, open your DAW with a new project, choose your VST, in my case a piano plugin, and set your tempo based on the tempo information that you got from Melodyne. Then, import your MIDI file into the piano roll. When you're doing this, make sure that you change the file type from Fruity Loop Score to MIDI so that you can find your file. Brilliant! Now you can edit your MIDI file or just learn how to play the piece on your piano.